week, and here with some great ideas to make packing for your next trip a breeze. Please welcome back to our show, Monica Mangan. Right. You always have the best ideas. This is cool. I never do it. But I it, do this. You do do this. You mm -hmm. roll it up. All right, roll yeah. up your stuff. So this is to help you pack your suitcase. So folding, oh, you can't fit as much, up. right? Mine too. Yeah. And the other issue is you end up with like crazy wrinkles. So rolling them doesn't just keep it more organized and allow you to fit more. It also gets rid of wrinkles. And you can see it all too. You can you know see it. Okay. And I do, I do the dryer sheets in there too. You do dryer sheets? What I do. What does this do? I, it tells I just, about it. I like the freshness. I don't like the travel smell yeah. that sometimes permeates into the luggage. It, it develops a scent. Yes. Especially and if I you like have dirty clothes in there. Well, I don't put dirty clothes in there. <laughs> no. Heavens. <laughs> I wear it, right. put it right back in there like yeah. that. So just no. pop in a dryer yeah. sheet. Okay. Now, one of the biggest problems I have personally is my suitcase is always overweight. And then you do the unpack of shame. It's so embarrassing. Oh, so embarrassing. And like your underwear is on top. Oh, so. my gosh. Always. <laughs> and then you're just getting a dirty look for my husband so like true. every time. Every, every time, time it happens. So we have a luggage weight scale. And so <gasps> at home, you just click this on and you're just going to lift it up. And I'm like, oh, wait, 30 pounds. Perfect. I'm going right. to click this so, to the back of your neck and pick you up. Yeah, this is going to save you know so to to much money not. and embarrassment. By the way, also, let's be clear. <laughs> My suitcase is never. This is good core. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Good for you, Rai Rai. Look at that. Rai wants to know how to pack his bra. Yes. So, bra. and I, because I don't want it to get smushed. You don't want a bra right? crease, right? No. That's the worst. Bra it makes crease. Why? It's not such an issue. So, when you're packing, take your underwear, kind of ball it up, and actually put it into the cups. Put them together like this, and it'll hold the shape I'm, better. Just to add to I your mean, tip I just here. have to tell you <laughs> that I, my underwear would not fit into my cups. <laughs> And, and Monica, for men who want to take a cap, a ball cap, they can put their underwear in their yes, hat and keep it from crushing too. Absolutely. Okay, now this is a huge problem. You're getting ready in a hotel room and you're curling on your flat iron or hot. But what yes, do you do? You don't want to melt Ziploc. your stuff? Just use a pot holder. Okay? That's so smart. I really like using the mitt kind because it can hold two pot holders. What in the world is that? cases. When you are flying, it doesn't matter how short the flight is, I get off and look so tired and haggard, but I can't bring all my makeup on, my moisturizers, because TSA will snag it. So yeah. the trick is to put just a little bit of whatever you need into a contact case. So I have a little toothpaste there, oh. I have some moisturizer, foundation, and then you could even, you said. I like to take my Himalayan salts along when I'm having, Your seasoning. I season my airplane food. <laughs> you have to have it properly. Yeah. So fancy. Makeup, traveling with makeup. It's the worst when you arrive and your makeup looks like this. It's it, crashed it and it's always looks like that. every time. So just take a cotton round and put it on here, <gasps> close it in, it will not break. I traveled uh, the world with these. Uh, <laughs> look how seriously? good they look. That's I amazing. did. I just flew like three times with them and they're all good. That's a good palette. All right, so I know, right? It's a good one. Kelly, we'll put that with the iron over yeah, here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Put it with, with the, the curling iron. Okay. Oh, curling iron. <laughs> um, um, this is a tip that will save you not just the planet, but also money. So instead of buying the $10 water bottles after you're through TSA, right. pack yourself a reusable one, and then you can fill it once you've gotten through security. Oh, cool. okay? that's great. So it's simple. Super. All right, so I have both of your passports here. I made you very nice ones. Yes, you made us elegant <laughs> passport did. photos. These are the best passport photos ever. This no one looks this good. Yes. Here's the tip, though. If you, heaven forbid it, would to lose your passport or your ID, you want to have this information. So either make a paper copy of it and have it with you because you can't use it, but you need the numbers, the expiration dates, or you could use your cell phone and use something and that that as long as it's encrypted and keep oh. it safe. Yes, it expedites the replacement okay. big That's time. I was right. like, why can't I just remember where I live? Yes, <laughs> or, you know your passport no, number? No, no, I don't. Quick. Okay, so this is a great one if you're traveling with kids. So I did this when my kids were little. It's just a photo album. Them, but I turned it into a dry erase activity book. So I printed out little activities for them. So they can cool. use dry erase Snack markers. Problems. And I put all these on the website. You can go and download them for Snack free. Problems. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Hey, make sure you check out all these tips, kellyandryan.com. For more hacks, we'll be right back. Monica, great to see you.